Hello. Today we're going to demonstrate the email manager in Take Charge Software Suite. We understand that in today's busy world, most people are going to have multiple email accounts. Uh, personal accounts, business accounts, junk mail accounts, subscription accounts, you name it, and they're out there. What we did here at Take Charge Software is provide a simple, single place to check and manage all those email accounts right from your desktop inside the Start menu. On the Start menu, main screen, if you can select email and click Open to open the email module, or you can use the hotkey. We're going to use the hotkey. Now it pops up your email profiles. Under Profiles, you are allowed to set up as many email accounts as you want. Uh, these accounts will take and point to external email servers and pull the data from them if they're available. Now you can select one individual account to check or you can select all profiles and check every one that you have set up. For the purpose of this demo we're just going to select default. Click OK. Now it's going to go out and do its thing and check the server to see if there's any mail. There you go, it looks like it found an email and there it is. Now we can select that email and then click the button which switches to read and of course over here it changes our action buttons automatically to compose email, change folders to personal work, bulk, or sent. So let's open this email. Comes up and there you go. It's a test message from uh, Alpha 5 uh, version 8. We sent a test before this demo to make sure that the connection was going to work. Now once a, an email is here, I can reply to this email, send it to check, trash, move it to a different folder. Um, so we can move it to personal work or bulk. In this case, we're just going to leave it where it is. Um, and uh, we can also take and check again to see if there's any other mail that's come in or check a different account. Um, if there was an attachment, we could use the, open it, the attachment manager to open it and review it. Um, so in this case, let's take and write an email. So we pop up the email writer. Here, I can take and select which profile of the many profiles I want to use to as, as the account that will send the email. So I hit my drop down. I'm going to select default. Uh, here I can type an address or I can click to uh, to pull up the address book and select the contact to receive the email. There you go. I just typed it in. Subject, I'm just going to say hello. And then text, I'm just going to say hello. Now, you can send this email using rich text under format. You can send it as plain text or you can send it as HTML. So under rich text, I'm going to take and format it. So I'm going to pop it up and I'm going to change the font to... Uh, there you go, that's kind of strange looking. Let's change the size. Make it an 18. Okay. And let's change the color. So we'll make it dark red. There you go. Save it. Now, in addition to that, I can take and embed text from other modules in the application. So here I'm going to say embed. I'm going to grab the Bible first. We mentioned that in an earlier video, so let's show how it actually works. So it pops up the Bible Reader. I select a uh, book and a verse. So Genesis, let's drop it down. We'll use Genesis 3. And we add that to the display window so we can see and then export it to the email when we know it's right. Or we can continue to add verses so that we have like an ad hoc list of verses we want to send. And here it is. If we scroll down, there it is. And same thing. Now I can go in and I can take and change the formatting on that as well. And then I can just send it. I can also take and embed objects, or I'm sorry, attach objects to an email. I can attach a contact report, my daily or weekly schedule, or I can attach a file. So let's attach a file. Under files, you have single or a list of files, multiple files, or a multiple files that will be zipped up into one single file. The choice is yours. We're going to do a single file. Pops up. Here you go. We're going to send shift journal. Um, and there it is in my attachments list. So, 
that's pretty much it. It's real simple to use, and as you can see, you can have as many counts as you want, and they all work directly from your test desktop in the Take Charge software suite. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.